YouTube. Like and subscribe. Now. Yo, can you not what face when I go full cam, please? It's a little bit hurtful. Wow. All right. Don't care. Look, okay. I am very aware that I look like some bitch that plays the drums in my boyfriend's garage band in a small town in the Midwest today. I did my makeup a little bit differently. People I'm sorry. Out. I look a little grungy. Better. Okay. Thank you for the 23 months. Um, this is not emo Maya. It is not that serious. It's not that different. Relax. Ow. How was Christmas? People pop, wow. Boring. Skipped it. People Sad. Smile. Alone. Spent it in quarantine. Ugh. You with the fam? Yeah. Got COVID. Oof. I, uh, yeah, I went, I, I was with my family. Went home. Um, it was pretty good. Very short trip, but it was good. Um, my mom got, oh, my mom got me this ring. Pretty. Wow. And then pop, me and, wow. I, oof, that smells like bleach. Thank you for the sub. Um, and then Ella and I, me, Ella, and Kayla got matching mood rings at uh, the Fort Worth Zoo. I went to the Fort Worth Zoo yesterday. What did your mom cook for Christmas? Um, turkey. We got a smoked turkey from a 4 -H -er every year. Why is the audio so bad? Is it? It should be fine. I feel like my mic's pretty good. I don't know. We had turkey and mashed potatoes. Do you guys know what sweet potato casserole is? I think it's very, it's an American thing. I don't like it. It's kind of weird. But we had that. Yes. It's, it's mashed. Sweet potato casserole. It's this. It's, it's mashed sweet potatoes. But then there's a, but then there's marshmallows on top of it. Kind of strange. Holiday food pug. It's not really my thing. But we had that. Um, we had some bread, and then we had a pie. Um, I realized that being in Texas and being around streamers all the time, I've, people do feel like NPCs when you go back into the real world. My family's very quiet. Like, very quiet. I don't know. <laughs> I looked, <laughs> So I got really annoying because they're- which is also my job because I'm the youngest sibling, but, uh, I was so annoying at home. Like, I was asking my sister a bunch of stupid would you rather questions. For some reason, at Christmas dinner, I told my mom all of the places I've ever been offered cocaine. I don't know why I did that. It was so weird and so uncalled for. I, I just, like, told her every time someone offered it to me. And I was like, yeah. So one time I was at this party and then I went in the bathroom and, and I just was, and my, my sister and her girlfriend are sitting there, my dad's sitting there. I just, just started telling my mom about it. I asked my dad if he's, what, if he's done LSD. I asked my mom if she's ever danced on a table. They said no to everything. Um, People how drunk were you? My dad no. did give me a really big glass of wine. So I, 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 I felt a little bit of alcohol, That's but not a nice. lot. Thank you, Maya, but we didn't ask your family. Yeah, actually. Did you do the cocaine? Never done cocaine. First time I was offered cocaine, I was in a bathroom in college. My friend said, wasn't really my friend, acquaintance, asked if I wanted a bump, and I held up my fist. <laughs> and I fist bumped him. Because I didn't know what he meant. Um, but I didn't do cocaine. I've never done cocaine. Good friend. Or her. Him. I was in a bathroom. Um, and then I was offered cocaine. I went to this very small... This is not since Wine About It has existed, just for the record, so don't go blaming LA streamers for having cocaine, because it wasn't even a streamer, but I was in LA, and I got, I went into this small studio apartment, and there was this man, and he had cocaine on his windowsill, and a one dollar wow. bill, and was just, and it's like, you want cocaine? And I left. I went for a walk. So anyway, um, back to Christmas. Uh, 
was a time was a good time we went for a hike hike was nice um and then people pog wow one year people pog wow thank you for the year i had the worst flight experience of my life worst airport experience of my entire life i was walking through the airport to leave california and some dude walked up to me and knocked me out cold on the floor I had to call the police. I'm kidding. None of that happened. I actually don't know where that came from at all. No, but it, seriously, it was the worst experience of my life. Worst airport experience of my life. So I had to fly out of the small airport. Um, that was so unbelievable. <laughs> I had to I had to fly out of a small airport. So there were no direct flights to Austin. Um, I had a layover in LA, right? But my first flight, this, I still can't believe that this happened. I didn't even know the airports would do this. I can't believe this happened. <laughs> I had a layover in LA. Um, what's a layover? It's it's when you fly from one airport. You can't fly directly from one airport to your destination. So you fly into one in the middle and then you take another flight. So you take two flights to get there. So I had a layover in LA, but my first flight from the small airport was delayed by an hour. My layover was an hour. So I couldn't make my second flight from LA. So they had to reschedule me onto another plane. There were no planes from LA. Thank you. Um, there were no planes from LA leaving later that night. So I couldn't just get on a later flight in LA. My only options were to um, wait until the next day, take a 6 a.m. flight, and then get back to Austin at 9 p.m. Leave California at 6 a.m. and get to Austin at 9 p.m. It's like a three-hour flight. So whole day of travel because there were no good flights the next day. And I was like, wow, I really don't want to do that. So the only other option that I had was to fly direct out of SFO, San Francisco Airport, which was two hours away. So the airport put me in a cab and I had to sit in a cab and go to the San Francisco airport, which was two hours away, wait at the San Francisco airport for five hours for a red eye from San Francisco to Austin. And the flight was two hours late. So we didn't leave. I, my flight was supposed to be at 3 PM in California. I was supposed to leave at 3 PM. I was supposed to get back to Austin at like nine or something. I left California at 1 a.m. and got back to Austin at 7 a.m. I had to take a two-hour cab to the airport and then sit at the airport for seven hours. I had a mask on for over 14 hours that day and I took a red eye and I got back to Austin and then I had two hours to sleep before Ella and I drove three hours to the Fort Worth Zoo the next day. But the zoo was great. My cab driver was fine. Didn't say a single word to him. Uh, I got in the car. He was like, San Francisco airport? I was like, yep. He's like, all right. Wow. Didn't say a word the rest of the ride. Do you guys do that? Is that just, thank you for the 21 months. Having some rando knock you out at the airport seems like a better time, 100%. I wish I was knocked out. Number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. Get down. Ten kills on the board right now. Just wiped out tomato town. Smash. My friend just got down. I revived him. Now we're heading southbound. Now we're in the Pleasant Park Street. Look at the map. Go to the mark. She